Today we're reflashing or ECU mapping uh, 2019 Montero Sport 2.4 turbo diesel. For a Montero with just an exhaust. Normally, uh, non Monteros we see it around here 160, 165. Mm -hmm. Then full exhaust plus 10 lang eh. Ito, yeah. medyo malang eh. Okay, oh. okay, no? Yeah, malang eh yung gain sa uh, no, exhaust. And then, uh, yun, this is your fuel, air, air fuel ratio. So, lumakas siya. If you can notice, there's a spike here suddenly. It starts low, then big lang spike. It corresponds to this dip here. So this means that the computer is now injecting more fuel because in the diesel it's pretty simple. You add air, you add fuel, lalakas. There's no spark plug, there's no timing, none of that. Basta dagdag lang ng crudo, lalakas siya. So ang gagawin namin, magdadagdag ng crudo on this area for the first uh, two to 3,000 RPM. And then we're also going to raise the boost from... Yan, ito eh. Mababa yung simula eh. 14 eh. So if you notice that your peak power occurs at peak boost, so, tatasin yung boost dito, then it should go about like this one. Uh, this peak point, not much more to, not much higher. If we're at 22 now, maybe 23, 24. Then it tapers off, mas mataas ng konti dito. So, the graph that we expect to see after everything should be something like this. Mm. Peak to peak, not too much. Uh, maximum, maybe 210, 220. Pero dito sa baba, malaki. Then, yung torque, uh, obviously, lalaki din. Ideally, what we want the torque in a diesel is a straight line from here to there. Exactly. Oh, kasi ito, I would imagine when you're driving right now, apaka biglang si sipa. Yes. Oh, ito yun. <laughs> That's the behavior of the car. Apaka, wala constant eh. Oh, then it's not a lag per se. It's not just making. It's not just making. It's just making this amount of power and torque. And then suddenly, when you cross two seven, pok sipa. Correct we'll correct all of that one, yeah. So, what everybody obviously wants is konting tapak, malakas sumibat. <laughs> oh, yun ang gusto na lang ng tao. Walang tao na gusto ko malakas sa dulo, patay sa ilalim. No, everybody wants yung tapik lang, sibat ka agad. Oh. There's no autobahn here, you cannot... Uh... No. We're done with our baseline dyno and then our first tune, this is what we got. Uh, this red line is our stock horsepower right here. Uh, peaks in at around 187, that's already with the 3-inch exhaust. Most Monteros that we've dynoed, bone stock, no nothing, are here in the 160, 165 range mark. So after our first tune, uh, pretty good results. This is the power that we get now. There's an instant 60 to 70, that's... 80 horses more actually here at 2000 rpm and then from at 25 rpm is from 80 to 190 that's 110 horses more it's pretty insane and torque also rises from 225 to almost 500 at the first step um, why the stock graph is like this can be explained by two things first of all is the air fuel ratio chart of the stock vehicle where you can see here it's at the 20 range so it's this is basically lean 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 then computer injects fuel to make it a little bit rich this dip corresponds to that spike that you see up here diesels are pretty simple you add more air you add more fuel it's gonna get more powerful and another thing about the stock graph is you have to look at the boost also which is this one this is the stock boost curve, so it starts out also pretty low, uh, barely 14 PSI, then works its way all up 
the way up to 3000 RPM and at about 22 PSI. As you can notice, this high point will also correspond to this high point here in the power graph. So it's two things, fuel and air. And boost is air, air-fuel ratio is obviously fuel. So what we do when we tune it, we add fuel here to the entire range, so we're adding fuel here. So this is our new air-fuel ratio graph. And we're also upping the boost a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but a little bit enough. So here at the very start, we made it from about 13 PSI to 20 PSI, then goes all the way up to 24, then tapers off. So this, is this big increase in boost and this big increase in the fuel injected is what gives us this big increase in power. And obviously with any power increase, we also get torque increase here. So I like to say this every video, ito malakas to sumibat sa unang tapak pa lang. And we're not done yet, I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna do another tune on the car to see if we can up the boost a little bit more and make the power a little bit more here. Uh, we're gonna tune this area right here and tune this area right here because ideally what we want is a line that goes like that and a line that goes like that. <laughs> That didn't go as well as we hoped, but there's still a little bit more improvement from our last tune. Uh, basically, ito na yun. So we ended up at 208 wheel. Uh, our previous tune was around here. That's 203. Got another five horses more. <laughs> and then here at the low end, we went from 140 to you know, 150. Okay, and uh, that's all that we can squeeze out of it because you can see the air fuel ratio we made it a little bit even more rich now uh, and as you saw a while ago in the video it's not even that smoky yet you can actually make it more smokier but that's not the correct way of doing it and boost wise uh, well this is pretty much it uh, boost here didn't go up no more it's already at 21 psi at the start i got a little bit higher more here it's around 25 and a little bit more all throughout and tapers down. Lana, yun yung pinakasagad na kaya na i-control ng boost solenoid and fuel rail pressure. But overall, not bad. So, maximum gain we got is actually at this area here. At 2.5 RPM. <laughs> we got 100. And, we got 110 horses right then and there. 187 to 187. That's the maximum gain we had. Uh, peak gain, which is maximum power, is 187, and then at 208, uh, 207 to 208, that's 30 horses ish more. Uh, torque wise, our maximum gain is here at the start. That's 225 to 525, that's 300 Newton meters more. That's a full, more than double what the stock torque is. So, yeah, pretty good results. We'll take it out of the dyno now and do our usual test drive. Well, as you saw a while ago, even on full throttle, minimal naman yung smoke. Eh. Yeah. Um, Yeah. What kind of oil now? Uh, anything 10W40. Oil is like soap. It'll clean you, it'll lubricate, it'll yeah. make it slip right. Right or left? Left. Left. Uh, even clear, good. Can you yeah. pop? Make you turn. <laughs> <laughs>
behind the mask, huh? Of course. But not my wife. <laughs> Why not? Just tell her that it'll be more motivated. <laughs> Just asking me a while ago what I am doing at speed lab. There you go. We're making it more fuel efficient. We're making it more fuel efficient. Wow. Which is, if you do drive normally, you see mm -hmm. about 8 to 10% better mileage. Mm -hmm. well, everybody loves better mileage. Yeah. Uh, wow. Very satisfying. And, uh, we flash per se, no maintenance. Uh, so, uh, after a year, I have to uh, no, let you um, check it out. Okay, I'll use the phone analogy. Uh, okay. What you have now is software. Mm -hmm. Software is only as good as the hardware it controls. Right. So, if hardware starts failing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, no amount of software will correct that. Mm -hmm. But since bago pa naman, and, uh, most likely next five years, don't have to worry about right. it. The stuff that fails naman on these things is normally always the electronics. Eh. Exactly. So, um, on the older Montero we've mm -hmm. seen, Map sensor, yun, those things will start to fail after the six year mark. Uh, suction control valve, oh, yun, those things also fail. Yeah. It's a uh, normal wear and tear. Yeah, normal wear and tear parts, those things. You have to go to, go to bag it to <laughs> Look at the top speed of this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's 180, it's the stuck. Uh, we made no it 250 more. now. Huh? Yeah, we made it 250. Wow! Uh, it don't go that high, okay. so... 200 is enough. Because in the software, may nakasulat siya, it's, a, it's an Excel field that says top speed. So this is the RPM, this is the speed. Yeah. I can make it 999 if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, ain't no, with our roads here. You know, uh, you know, and discipline, some of the drivers are disciplined. Yeah, correct. You can do that uh, all the time. <laughs> You know how to do a drag launch? <laughs> Woo! 